Uh, now Ron Artest going after a fan. Prosecutors continue to go over the tape frame by frame, trying to determine just what happened in what may be one of the most embarrassing moments ever in sports. Authorities now say they've identified the man who threw the cup that sparked the melee. He was scheduled to talk to detectives, but he initially failed to show. Meanwhile, basketball player Ron Artest apologized, but was suspended for the entire season, costing him $5 million since he won't be paid. Altogether, nine players suspended to the tune of $11 million in lost salaries. As the Detroit Pistons played Charlotte Sunday night in the first game since the melee, security was doubled and fans who witnessed the fight were still in shock. I actually couldn't believe my eyes. I was petrified because I didn't know what was going to happen. I seen people running, I seen chairs flying. Another fan who was in the arena and saw it all, music star Kid Rock, a native of Detroit. He spoke exclusively saw, with Inside Edition. I saw everything unfold. I mean, just the way it happened. This is where Kid Rock was sitting that night. He had a clear view as the brawl erupted. What <laughs> were you thinking as he went storming into the crowd? My first reaction was to run over there because, you know, I'm like, oh, these guys are big, you know, like, what if they go after, you know, there's probably kids out there and stuff. And I was with a friend of mine who plays hockey, and he was like, where are you going? He's like, he grabbed me, he's like, stay right here. You've watched the fight unfold, and you saw our test leaving the floor under heavy guard, but you may not have seen what happened afterwards. Look at this, calm piston players leaving the Palace Arena. Here's a seemingly unfazed Ben Wallace, who you saw get fouled, carrying his son. Sadly, some young children were seen crying as the brawl unfolded. And you also saw children leaving the arena. One family appeared on Good Morning America. Do you have any reluctance to go back? Um, I have no fear of going back because it's just that, you know, it's not like every single gang I'm going to go to that they're going to have a fight. In his apology, Artest said, it really hurt me to see the children crying on TV, and I think about how it could have been my own kids. We went back to the palace to retrace the action that children and other fans saw. With only seconds left in the game, the scene quickly turned chaotic. Ron Artest was lying on this scores table right here when he was hit by a cup filled with a beverage. He thought it came flying from this section of the crowd, so he came storming up this corridor into the first row and ran to the fifth seat where he started fighting with fans. The tape shows a relatively calm Artest lying on the scores table with his legs crossed, wearing headphones. That's when the cup came his way. Artest stormed into the crowd and one fan gets smashed in the face. Oh my gosh. Artest is then grabbed from behind by another fan who jabs him in the face. Artest whips around and slams that guy. Artest starts to walk away relatively calmly when another drink flies his way and he's confronted by another fan. Words are exchanged and Artest decks him. That man is A.J. Shackleford. I didn't throw anything, didn't throw any pop, no chairs, and I got hit. ESPN's NBA analyst Greg Anthony thinks the brawl could spark some changes at the games. One thing that I did notice in that entire ordeal was that there were, was definitely a lot of alcohol consumption. So I would suspect or hope that maybe you'd look at uh, stopping the sale of alcohol at a certain point during the course of a game. From flying chairs to the flying punches, there's a lot to absorb on this videotape. And law enforcement authorities, along with NBA officials, will be watching it to figure out if there are any missing links.